Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just so you know, <laughs> to have any open cases, yes, <laughs> would require, at least I would think so, maybe there's an attorney that knows more about this than I do. Yeah. Your name would have to be on the docket. Oh. <laughs> See, the two-count criminal complaint uh -huh, <laughs> that was filed on uh, August 8th of 2017, Brett? Yes. Mm -hmm. There's a question. Did I spend any time in jail in the last year? Oh, I didn't. I was arraigned in September of 2017. Now, I know they ask those questions because they want to know, was I <laughs> involved in any allegation of crime? <laughs> But since it says the last year and it happens to be October of 2018, yes, I did answer truthfully that I have not been in jail for the last 12 months. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> this whole big question of exactly why it was this was filed on August 8th of 2017, yes. Is it an open case? Because I don't see my name on the docket. <laughs> now, um, so I answered all the questions truthfully. I haven't been in jail for the last year. Mm -hmm. I've been making videos about 20 of them a day for the last 365 days. Yeah. Oh, well. Times 10, that would be 3,650. Oh, but if you double it, that's approximately 7,500 emails. No videos. <laughs> and I've sent all of them to the Port Angeles Police Department, and they absolutely refuse to acknowledge any laws at all. Now, I made sure that local law enforcement gets every video. I have. I made sure that the Port Angeles Police Department did get every video. Now, when I had to apply for rental assistance, and uh, pretty much every day, twice a day, I've told you that I want my victim's rights. Yes. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to sleep in a homeless shelter. Po, po, po. I didn't want to sleep on the hardwood floor. Oh. Oh, oh, I didn't want to sleep on the emergency couch. Eesh. And I didn't want to sleep on the emergency bed. But you decided that you would ignore years of documentation of crimes. Years of it. You know, it's difficult to believe that there could be a police department so obstructionist. Mm -hmm. To the actual enforcement of the laws. I answered every question truthfully. I haven't been in jail in a year. <laughs> I looked online at the senior center and I'm not on the docket. Ouch. <laughs> I haven't heard from my public defender. <laughs> and then there was always a big question about emergency need. <laughs> Now, when I called the renter this morning and he said, well, they threw all your shit away. And I was like, well, maybe I should get the landlord's phone number. Then I thought, you know what? If that's really what happened, you have, it's, I'm not only going to have you put in prison for the rest of your fucking life. right now i stayed up all night the first night that i was locked out yes i made uh recordings yes because i didn't make videos in that uh, in that residence because i wasn't the renter yes i documented the breaking of the doors oh the going through my stuff yes you did the trespass ooch, and the mail theft ooch. The possession of stolen mail. Po. The locking me out. Ooch. The uh, two and a half weeks that I spent without any of my personal items. <laughs> and then he was in treatment for blood ulcer and quite possibly some sort of alcohol problem. Yes. But nobody called me. Yes. 
Now, if I have lost all of my personal items, <laughs> this police department, oh, this sheriff's department, yes, this state and each and every state of the United States <laughs> is going to be liable for an immense amount of fucking money. Because I documented, pooch, I emailed, yes, I put it on Facebook. Yes, <laughs> it 